Hi friends, up next in our tricky letter series is the letter R. If you break it down, an R is just a combination of the letter P and the letter K. So if you watched my previous tutorials in this series, you'll already have a head start. If you haven't already watched those videos, I will link to them in this month's newsletter and they will also be linked in the video description. First, let's look at a couple common mistakes I've seen my Skillshare students make. An R with a slightly oddly shaped bowl. In this scenario, the bowl is too high. And then I often see the leg of the R connected in the wrong place. Now let's correct those problems. As usual, I'll draw my skeleton sketch first, and this will be an uppercase R, so the stem will start at the cap height and go all the way down to the baseline. Now for the bowl, which is the rounded part of the R. You want the bowl to end just below the X height line. If it's at the X height line or even above it, it's going to appear too high and out of proportion. The other thing to remember is that the curve actually starts and ends on the horizontal. If your curve starts right from the stem, it will create a slightly odd shape. So draw a light horizontal line at the top of the stem and just below the X height line where you want the bowl to end. And it would be helpful to also map out how large you want the bowl to be. And I think I'm gonna have mine uh, come out to about here. So now I can just work on making a nice smooth curve from that point back to the horizontal. Now the last element is the leg. This is where it can get a little bit tricky. Much like I showed you in the letter K tutorial, you want to avoid attaching the leg to the stem. Instead, it's actually going to connect to the bowl. Now exactly where you attach it can be up for debate and often depends on personal preference and how you choose to stylize the letter. But a good guideline is to make sure it's somewhere near the center of this bottom part of the bowl. So you don't want it to be too close to the stem and you don't want it to be too close to the edge of the bowl. So I would say from about here to maybe around here is a good safe zone for where you can attach your leg. So I'm going to attach my leg maybe around here. And the other thing you need to uh, think of is that you want the leg to extend just beyond the bowl. So if I draw a straight line from here up, you can see that my leg ends further out than where the bowl ends. This just helps your letter feel nice and grounded. So now with a structurally sound skeleton sketch, you can then work on thickening up the strokes and stylizing the letter form. I'm going to make this a serif style, so I'm just going to work on adding thickness to all these strokes. And there's a well-proportioned R. 
As I mentioned before, there are countless ways to stylize the letter R. Um, one great way to play with it is to add a little bit of a curve to the leg. As you can see here, this is still a serif style, but I added a little bit of a curve to the leg just so that it doesn't feel quite as rigid. And if you decide to add a curve, you'll want to make sure that it comes a little bit below the baseline. And here's a sans serif version. Um, again, I've drawn the leg with a little bit of a curve, which actually brings me to another pointer. When the leg of the R has a slight curve in it, you don't want that curve to end too abruptly. Go ahead and round out the terminal, this end of the stroke, uh, to give it a more refined and finished look. If you're brand new to hand lettering and you're feeling a little confused by the terminology I used in this tutorial, please be sure to check out my hand lettering in Procreate class on Skillshare. I hope you found those tips helpful and I'll see you here again next month.